Hi, my name is Mrs. Payne. I'm a teacher at Nimitz High School. I teach English 2 to sophomores, and we're going to be doing a Socratic seminar speaking about change agents and what pathways they take to make change. A Socratic seminar is a student-led academic discussion where students just talk about different um, topics and things that they have read in connection to maybe personal feelings, thoughts and ideas, and things like that. And here it is. All right, so today we'll be talking about what is a sacred Socratic seminar. And what are the qualities of a change agent? I feel as if the qualities of a change agent in order to be a change agent, you have to be different and stand out and be familiar. Mm, yeah, I, I agree. You have to be courageous, like the, like the man in the video that took him out when he got when I was, I mean, stood out and started dancing, my people, like, I mean, so everybody started doing it, like, takes courage to um, actually go out there and stand out like that. That's, that's not a group, that's what it's in. Oh, my fault, my fault, honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are the qualities of a change agent? Mm -hmm. Well, to me, a change agent is a respectful person who you know respects the people or the followers who support him with you know his ideas and equally. I agree what he said on how to start a movement. I feel like you gotta be a leader, gotta be brave to get up and dance with all the people, and then that'll get other people to follow along with you. As a equal, uh, stating that he doesn't try to treat him differently or think of him as just another person to him. He treats him as uh, part of his kind of responsibility. Yeah, I've seen that too. It's, like, it's not about just the first person that started dancing, it's mainly about the second one who came in joining, not as equal instead of being individual. So he brought people together? Basically. Yeah, he basically did that by showing uh, followers how to follow. So he had an open mouth. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, the things you are talking about. How do change agents impact their communities? I feel as if change agents to try to be a change agent, they make a big step for their community. Community. To, to try to um, like encourage the young people to like also stand up and try to make a change and be different. And uh, they pitch in uh, new ideas or better improvements to things that they had problems with. Or they spread a culture, a culture how they sing and do their music. I also feel like change agents, they help start solve, help solve problems that many people go through, like in their community, to help people's everyday lives and music. What type of problem? Like, like how people deal with their black lives and their lives. I agree because change agents also help others speak up and say things that others are afraid to say. And yeah, I don't know. So it's more of them speaking instead of listening more because uh, listening more kind of damages you on the inside since you don't really give out your own opinion. Okay, question three. What condition? What can? What conditions allow changes to occur? Um, it could be like personal things. People might feel as if they want to stand up for something because something personal happened, or they just probably want to change. So they try to make a change and be different and stand out and try to make that change. Like Black Lives Matter. Huh? Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Yeah. They, they see an issue within the community and they want to be change about what's happening. They need justice for what's going on. Because it's not 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they stand up, put a word in, or speak up. See if you make a difference. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. People just gotta be accountable for their actions. And once you start being accountable, you start realizing more stuff, being more open, and figuring out the problems you need to get solved. My name is Tia Wilkerson, and this is the Socratic Seminar. And today we're talking about what are the qualities of a change agent. I feel like the qualities of a change agent is somebody that is putting their community first and benefiting them and listening to their problems. What's a change agent? is someone that wants to make a change and make sure that they put, well, they make sure that they put an action and try to gain followers and be able to spread their um, statement. I agree because um, a change agent has to stand out and like they have to be a leader for every, for someone else to follow for it to become like a change. I agree. Um, I, agree. I feel like as a change agent, you have to be like bold enough to maybe like so at some point kind of like embarrass yourself like in how to start a movement like the first leader he was embarrassing himself by doing something that nobody else was doing and then people started to follow and then he created a big movement that's in order to stand out and be able to make that change like uh like Emory said um in addition to that um so the guy that was dancing and by himself other people that came in one by one by one like reduce like how embarrassed he was and just encourage other people to go out and join them. I feel like an important thing for a change agent is to watch what he is doing and also what he's not doing because in Dangerous of Silence um, it shows a lot of stuff that well there was like, a lot of examples that showed um, him, um, Clint Smith, and how being quiet led him to some problems and how he did speak about his truth. But he also has to be careful of what he's saying and know that it's interpreted and spread right. Um, a change agent, whenever they have like some qualities of themselves, they have to have some intelligence because if they don't, then they can't catch up like what they're doing. And they have to be motivational to themselves and to others because you can't really do anything if you don't have any motivation. So you're saying that when you like back up like to or what you call it, what you were saying, when you back up everything? And I agree to that because being unafraid to take charge is important and make your sacrifices for the community as a whole and having a high performing mindset when it comes to it and come to the people and being vocal and just standing out because it could like also be spread worldwide. So I will say like, there there is gonna be people that are gonna like disagree with that statement that the person may be giving to the community. So I wouldn't really be saying like for the whole community, at least like for most of it. So usually um, there is gonna be a lot of people that aren't gonna agree. So that's the thing the change agent that they also supposed to focus on is to make sure that um, their statement is, they're also, that they're listening to their followers, but also making sure that maybe their haters or the people that don't really agree are being for a reason. They should take that and maybe use that as a um, How do change agents impact their community? I feel like people can impact their communities in so many ways, like just by helping out after a big storm, like, with the agents of change by Phil Patman whenever he took people out after the uh, Hurricane Harvey and he could have did just something simple but he was there for his people and he led them to be in a better place after that for What's this like for me? You know, you know, like mm -hmm. I agree because you don't always have to make a huge change in the community. You can make something small, like you know, picking up trash, because some people like to litter. Um, you can do a lot of things just to help out with your community.
I agree because it's changing as a person who promotes and supports a new way of doing something. I, I agree with that because sometimes changing is just tend to notice other things that other people don't. And that's how we help in our communities and teaching them and showing them the way. Be that um, but there are different types of people that want to make a change in their communities, but it can also be hard because they have people that might disagree. But usually they do make an impact because they're at least stating their statement and their belief on what they think should be right. So I think that just by doing a little thing to like show and demonstrate something that you think should be done. Trash and the smallest gesture can take somebody a long way, and that can show somebody that can just point you out as a leader. You don't have really have to do nothing, do you? Just like Martin Luther King. I feel like, and even if you do something small, just like um, for a demonstration and the video of how to start a movement, um, you can see that the there was just a man like just dancing around. Like he wasn't doing anything big, he was just dancing there. And then once other people started seeing him, um, they started to join and it was two. So then he started um, a movement, but he didn't really seem to be like the leader at that point because now the followers were making the impact. And then the more people that kept seeing it, they kept joining and joining. And mostly the people that were out, they looked like they were like the odd ones. Um, 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 I agree with that because, like, um, in the day through the silence, like, he talked about he had a bunch of students, and he taught them how to, like, speak up and use their voice, and that although some people might not agree with you, you can find ways to will, like, encourage them to speak up and to some of the others about doing what's right. Yeah, in addition to that, um, whenever you make a change in the community, you get the all type of you know, like, some other things, but you could just do it with your voice because if you're doing something good, that's very um, motivational for other people. So, and that's what the, he had to teach them whenever his students was getting downgraded by that lady. And I feel like the condition that allow change to occur is not letting stuff get violent fast. You have to stand your ground and Stay smart. You can't get in your feelings. You can get in your feelings, but it's a way you have to do it and a way you have to say it because so many people can get killed and so many things can. Yeah, in addition to that, um, like, okay. um, a condition that could lead to a change could be something that's that impacted, like let's say in a, in a community, like maybe a natural disaster, or there's this new law that's been passed down and we don't really agree with it. I feel like the um, most the condition they have to have is to have your details and also be firm of what you're saying, and you want to make sure that you have um, good evidence and that you have. Uh, like enough stuff to say and then um, there's a lot of stuff that can be involved with it but um, I will say um, going back to uh, what Tia was saying when she was talking about um, people pushing somebody back from doing what they want um, in the Malala effect um, <coughs> Malala was a girl that was shot by terrorists and after being hospitalized for a while, she came back and wanted to, and became stronger promoting um, um, girl rights for people in our community and uh, uh, Arabian countries in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Country, there wasn't really that much girl rights. Like for education and jobs and all that, so I think that was a good demonstration. Yeah, and um, Dr. Smith that talk whenever he was saying how like um, you should always have some type of motivation in yourself. Um, I agree with that because if you don't push yourself to do anything, 
then you don't, you know, make a change to anything. So, Megan, how do you feel about the conditions allowing the change to occur? Um, during the dangers of silence, I feel like it's made to speak not only to the members of the audience in that room, but to anyone in the world, he declared that how it is more important than ever to speak up for what we believe in. Not only that, but to speak up for those who need a voice when there's not, when theirs cannot be heard. Uh, so how do you feel about the seminar? Good job. <coughs> Hey, good morning, guys. Today we're going to be talking about our Socratic seminar and, and change agent. What are the qualities of a change agent? Who would like to start? You know, like flexibility. Flexibility. Uh, I'll have to speak up three times. Uh, I'll say strength and structure. Passion and enthusiastic. Um, I say, um, I say, so get up and tell And I would say, I would say leadership and bravery. You know, that's like the main key points. And. Um, how do change agents impact their, their communities? Um, I mean, it's really people that really start their age and they're going to do something new. How people are being affected by change? Give me a Hi, I'm Philip. We'll be talking about Socratic seminars and other change agents. So, what are the qualities of a change agent? Like, people who stand out? Okay. Uh, <laughs> people who are making change skills. Effective people listening skills. Okay. People want to make a change. People want to make a change. Okay. People who are passionate. People who are true being honest. People who are uh, People who want to get up in the morning and start their day positive. Okay, okay. And they can be. Go ahead. People are flexible. Okay, and uh, I would say leadership and bravery. You know, that's like the main key points. But what? <laughs> How do change agents impact our communities? They provide people with a lot of courage to go out there and do the same thing they do every day. Give them support. Support. I give them support. Allow them to just take out each other. You got that from uh, you got that from uh, the dangers of finance. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give them the path. Ideas. Anybody else? Um, according to the dangers of silence, she has to stand up and speak your truth. Okay. And I can add to that and say people are um, learning that they need to be more honest with another in themselves. Okay, honesty. All right. Um, what are these? What conditions allow change to occur? A problem. A problem, okay, great. Um, being public. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Bullying. Okay, that's an interesting one. Being verbal, being vocal. Verbal. Being okay. Anyone else? Being passionate and you Passion, okay. Being like, like, really afraid to say, like, be confident. Okay. Having confidence in you. Young man? Huh? Would you like to add anything? To adapt. Adapt, okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Carrie. I'm the Socratic Seminar Leader, and today we're going to be talking about agents of change. The first question will be, what are the qualities of a change agent? 
the chain changes of the qualities of the chain changes that I think that are good is staying outside the box, thinking of better ways to improve our community and more um, ways to think of giving resources to our community. I think I agree with him. I think another Same. another quality of rotation should you should be like outgoing because if you're not outgoing you can't really support the change you're making or you can't like go I, more into it. I agree with you saying too. I thought you gotta believe in yourself too because you can't make no change if you don't believe in yourself. Who else gonna believe in you if you don't believe in yourself? That's right. I feel like uh, the quality of change, you have to be bold. Speak up. Nobody really gonna be trying to be focused on you because they already know you like, you really are scared. Can't get that done. Can't get I feel like if, if, if you're also like not like outgoing or like she said, bold, she, like your audience or who you're trying to make the change for or where you're trying to make the change, they wouldn't listen as much because you, you really do like, uh, you said thinking outside the box, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, thinking outside the box to like get the audience's attention and to try to like make get the change. main focus. Yeah, the focus of the change. Um, <laughs> um, I think so. Qualities of a change agent is like basically I don't know how to put it into like what it is, but basically you gotta like just put yourself out there, you know. Even though it might be difficult, you know, you gotta put yourself out there at risk of making like. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Like embarrass yourself. You gotta do a little song that make a change. So basically, be a risk taker, but also be um, be a little conscious of yourself. Yeah. Well. yeah. So um, I think a character trait you should have to be a uh, change agent and dedication because you like you could. Bye, But like I just think dedication is one character trait you shouldn't have. Yeah. Ain't gonna never, ain't gonna never change. I agree. Example, like Luther Terry, he was dedicated to help fight for people all around the world to make a change. I also, I also agree because, like, if you're not dedicated, like M Malala, she was trying to make a, a global change for a women's rights, <sighs> and she was willing to like sacrifice her life and do whatever it takes just for women to get their own rights. Mm -hmm. yeah. I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> How do change agents impact their communities? Uh, I, Malala, her impact on her community, she had a great impact for the women's rights because she risked her life just to help women and impact a lot of people. Um, I'll do, for a change an example, I would say Selena because she was able to see, show people another perspective of how the Tejano community is by her outgoing boldness of her outfits, but also with her singing career. I agree with him, like, him because you recording? Mm hmm Oh. <laughs> I have to make sure. I agree with him because when you make a change, you bring that community together. Like what he said, Selena, she brought her community together and other communities together by her music. Yeah, I agree with her because Mr. Terry, he was trying to help the, he was trying to help the education and help a danger uh, stop smoking like all around the world with kids and stuff. I agree with that. I agree with it because for example, for the Texas Innovators, um, they were able to make an impact on the community by giving them a better opportunity for their future, um, being able to make schools for them, and just like giving them a better opportunity, opportunities that past generations couldn't have. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. I agree. She clapping, I see in there. The third question will be, what conditions allow change to occur? I would say for Selena, she had to be killed in order for people to recognize her. For mm -hmm. example, her movie that, that Jennifer Lopez helped create, but also her star that she had got, and then the award she had gotten for her music taken by her family. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I agree. And Malala, she went through horrible conditions in order to get trained. Like they was killing them girls. Just they had to, she had to prove she had to die and prove that you know she can actually do something in order for it to have change. So she risked her life for. I agree with that because she almost died on the bus trying to help some people. Yeah. They tried to get her. <laughs> and yeah, I, I would agree because here is a quote. Exactly two years ago, terrorists tried to take Malala's Yafuza's life. Instead, they created a global world powerhouse fighting on behalf of girls for their rights. Mm -hmm. I agree with that pretty much. Nah, I agree with that too. Um, in another way, it's like uh, Texas innovators or inventors that their inventions are uh, popular today, but it didn't start off like you know straight away. They actually took it took them years to make a change with what they made and with what they developed, and it wasn't like a thing that happened the next morning. It was all perfect. They had to take their time. And eventually, they were able to make a big impact and make a change uh, through time, and they just have to be patient. I, I I agree with that. That kind of follows on J, JFK because his change wasn't going to be immediate. He went to like change his, per, his per perspective of his own country, and he was trying to help advance many more countries as well. So if they weren't doing as good, to not just hand them the resources, but to help them achieve and like go more in depth with their own resources to see what they can do for their own country as well and others. I agree, but I'm also putting up on when you said about JK and I quote, don't ask for what your country can do for you, but ask what can you can do for your country. Yeah. I agree, I like that. <laughs> that change agents risk their lives, went through a lot of stuff just to make change in the country. I agree. Good job. Good afternoon. We got the open uh, the Socratic seminar. I mean, we answer these questions. Um, what are the qualities of the change agent? How do change agents impact our communities? And what conditions allow the change to occur? So, um, what qualities? What are the qualities of the change agent? Oh. <clears throat> I think the quality of the change agent is patience. And I say patience because um, from the JFK Interlogical Address, whatever, he had patience. And one of my text evidence is because he mentioned that um, even though it's not going to take like days and stuff, he's still trying to like make that change happen. Well, I agree that about uh, uh, Think about like how like you trying to change something, and think about like how people how slow people could be. Like you gotta have patience to like keep putting up with that stuff. Uh, yeah, you do, and you gotta have a lot of confidence. You gotta have a lot of confidence to be a good change agent because if not, you're not gonna do so well. <laughs> yeah, you also need to be sacrificial too because it can it can take time and like Malala, she had. She was speaking up for the women and the rights, and then she had got <laughs> shot. And like she was risking her life for the women. I think we have to be vocal too, because if you're not vocal, you want to get your point across. I feel like we also have to be brave because of the dangers of silence by Dr. Quinn Smith. He's talking about how he was trying to get other people to speak up and for him, for them to speak up, he just got to speak up himself. So he has to be brave and speak up so that the others can speak up. Uh, I agree with, you that, with that because uh, even like in one of the videos we watched previous in class, the Tan Talk video, uh, that was like, you can't, um, like, you got, somebody have to also like jump on like a boat, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, jump on the boat for, like, your point to get across, like she said. That's what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Um, how do you think change could impact your community? I mean, yeah, I'm sure. How, how do you think uh, a change agent could impact uh, other people's communities? A change agent could impact your communities by... It'll be, it'll be motivated for them to do better, like, in the dangers of silence. 
it shows them what will happen to their friends and others if they don't speak up. How, how could change agents impact their communities? Um, basically, like, oh, that it helped, like, it could better the community, better the people that's in the community and stuff like that. And, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. What so way do you think they could, uh, like, better the community? Oh, so like, uh, let's say the community is very. And like Dr. King said, he put like, I feel like the speaker, life was the cause of his reason because he would like always stay quiet whenever his friends would like get bullied. And whenever his, he wouldn't speak up for his students whenever they would make fun of his students. And he, <laughs> and after, <laughs> 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 he started telling other people that he didn't speak up for others. Uh, what's your name, Prince? How you uh, feel? How you uh, feel about what you just said? Uh, I agree, cause you know, like, when you're a change agent, like you also have to have a positive mindset. Like you have to be creative with your idea of trying to change something that's negative to bring out the positive. Because you know, like, you know, all this, all these terrible things happening in the world, like you trying to build a community to like fix it. And you also like want to recruit some people that like are against that to like make a change. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel what you said. Who's our Socratic seminar for this afternoon?